Welcome to Able Done On Air, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently able. I'm your host, Lauren Seiler. Arlene Seiler. And on this uh, program, uh, today we focus on the Vermont Worker Center. The Vermont Worker Center was created in 1998 by the, um, and is a statewide grassroots organization of individuals and families who are committed to standing for justice. And um, they have hundreds of individual members around the state who work and who work over with a dozen partner organizations, unions, churches, and community groups, etc. With us to discuss the Vermont Worker Center, which is also part of the Poor People's Campaign, um, is Leanna Gayette and Christine Smith. Welcome to April Day. How are you doing? Thank you. Okay. Um, what exactly are you guys doing for the Vermont Worker Center uh, now? Because we know that there's um, strikes going on with nurses and health care, and that's important. So what exactly are you doing? We are trying <coughs> to get the word out um, for everybody to be able to get universal health care. Mm -hmm. um, and what exactly is universal health care? It is um, health care for everybody. Nobody is excluded. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't matter if you're in poverty or you're um, got you know, a lot of money. Um, it's for everybody. Well, all right. In your opinion, because you know that they're trying now, I've done research, they're trying to, during this current administration, uh, they're trying to cut Medicare and Medicaid and making it horrible for people to have um, health care because um, recently now, uh, for example, um, in Burlington, uh, nurses are striking and you can't strike when people need nurses. Trust. That's extreme. What is your opinion on that? Um, when you have patients going into the ER, the first people you see are the nurses. You don't see the doctors first. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, if you see a doctor first without any kind of triage, the doctor doesn't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. They're just listening to what you tell them. Mm -hmm. um, so going through a nurse is better because you can give them basically everything that they need to know to pass it on to um, the doctors and then they can evaluate you more. Mm -hmm. Leanna, how, how important for you is health care knowing that the, the, this current administration is cutting? Well right now health care is very important to me because without insurance or whatever I would have to pay hospitals and doctors mm -hmm. and specialists. Uh, since this is part of the, and the Poor People's Campaign got started by the Martin Luther King Jr. How is this part of the Poor People's Campaign, or what is different about this and the Vermont Worker Center, or both? The Poor People's Campaign goes along with the Vermont Worker Center, and we will, we do, we go to board meetings with the Green Mountain Healthcare mm -hmm. Board mm -hmm. and people testify about why insurance companies don't need a raise mm -hmm. and whatnot because the last board meeting we went to, mm -hmm. they wanted, Blue Cross Blue Shield wanted a raise mm -hmm. and MVP Healthcare wanted a raise. A, a raise as far as employees no, or, um, or they want to raise the rates. They no, want to they, raise the rates. They wanted to raise the rates to it's where horrible. Um, Blue Cross Blue Shield wanted like 12 to 13 percent. Mm -hmm. um, and the Poor People's Campaign and Vermont Worker Center won that one. They only got like 3 percent. So goodness. we did win that one, yes. Thank goodness because they, and why do they want to Why do they want to raise the rates though? Because they don't care. They want money. That's what they want. They're looking for this. It is. Um, because, you know, you've got a lot of 
you know, people, new people coming in, mm -hmm. and you know, oh, Blue Cross Blue Shield is, you know, an amazing healthcare. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have the right plan that goes along with you, it's true. You're, you're going to land up paying more yeah, sure. than what you need. Mm -hmm. You need the, you need to get the right plan fit for you, mm -hmm. not for five and six thousand more people no. that that pay the same. Okay. There's something called slamming. What that means is that <clears throat> uh, you'll get something in the mail stating that you must have this health care situation and not your own. What's wrong with that? They are trying to get you to drop your own yeah. and pay for their plans. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't work because Why doesn't a lot it work? because a lot of people cannot afford it. No. You've got low income families. You've got people who who can't afford to even put food on their in table. Their mouth. Yes. So how how in the world are they going to be able to? They they're they're going to have to choose between having food or health care. Mm -hmm. I'd rather choose both mm -hmm. and have Medicaid and Medicare instead of having a high priced insurance rates mm -hmm. and not mm -hmm. be able to afford anything. And I've been going around town here in Montpelier. In terms, yeah, in terms of the, I, I, I wanted to get to the um, petitions. What exactly are you, you guys trying to do with those petitions? You know, no, I know you guys are knocking on doors trying to get signatures. Once you get all those signatures, what do those signatures represent? Um, we <coughs> got to follow up with the people that have signed the petitions and see if they're interested in coming, becoming a member of the Vermont Worker Center. Mm -hmm. And some people say yes, some people say no. So yeah. it all depends. Some people are afraid to sign because they're afraid that, okay, if I get involved with this, uh, is my benefits gonna be taken away because of it? Exactly, and that's not what we stand for. We're, we um, basically stand for, you know, trying to get everybody insured, mm -hmm. not just one person. Everybody, yeah. Because we know that Bernie, uh, the Bernie Sanders just won the primary, hopefully, because he's trying to fight for good health care. And right? that's what we need, mm -hmm. you know, on our back door. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we go out with these petitions and, you know, we knock on the doors and we, you know, let them know who we are and who we're with and explain a little bit about you know why we do this mm -hmm. and and then ask them about what their health health care is like you know if they're happy with it or if they don't have none or are they fighting for it but and some people it, don't want us to know hang on. but it's okay. but you know the more that you can ask questions and then get their own story mm -hmm. you know then we get them to see if they want to sign the petition. But we also encourage them and invite them to our dinners to where <coughs> that we have once a month so we can understand their stories and share their stories with other OCs, which is org organization committees. Um, right now, Washington County is so far the only organization in Vermont mm -hmm. that does the dinners once a month. Yep. And, you know, we have our turnouts, and then we have slow turnouts, but we get our point across. And your point is good health care. Now, co-pays, right? A lot of people, in terms of, because uh, I'm originally we're from New York. Vermont in New York, uh, the um, Medicaid in New York has no co-pays. What the heck? When we get here to Vermont, we have co-pays co on the medication. We have co-pays. Co-pays on the medication. So I'm confused. Is, why is, is there, in your opinion, why is should there, there be co-pays or shouldn't there be? I don't think there should be co-pays because a lot of people can't afford them. No. Um, every time, you know. You know well, it's two, three bucks each time, but even so, when you yeah, add that up, it, 30, 40 bucks a month. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and for me, when I, with my Medicaid, I hit my deductible pretty quick. Okay. Um, what is a deductible? A deductible is what you pay out of pocket. 
um, once you've hit that, then your medicines are free. Mm -hmm. You don't have to pay the rest of the year. Um, but a lot of people are not that lucky. Mm -hmm. No, they're they're really not, and you know they're struggling to pay pay for that. I've gone into pharmacies, and you know people will go and pick up their their medicines. Oh, I can't afford this. And even if it's a dollar or two dollars, sometimes they will waive that. Oh, they do waive it. It Some, depends it, on it the depends, pharmacy. It, yes, it depends on the pharmacy. Um, I've had a couple of mine waived, um, but the majority of the time I've been able to pay. But it's hard. It's either do we need milk or do we need medicine? I think we right. need medicine more than we need milk. Yeah. Well, the, th the three things that are mainly important, rent, food on the table, yep. clothes on your back, and bills. I mean, people can wear a newspaper, but uh, it, it don't work um, <laughs> like that, you know. It, it don't, and you know, and then it's like your medicines are on the back burner. You yeah. can you can die without having no medicine. <coughs> so, <coughs> doing the going back to your question about um, the Vermont Worker Center and the Poor People's Campaign, mm -hmm. um, we're all about the same thing we come together um, as a full circle, as one, and put our voices all mm -hmm. together <coughs> and get these mm -hmm. petitions. And then we want to take them. We want to get so many of them, mm -hmm. so many, <coughs> and take them to the governor and say, look, <coughs> we're not going to back down. We are not, you're not <coughs> going to push us around and say, well, no, you don't need health care. You know, for me, I would say, well, if the governor wants to do that, then maybe he don't need a phone, he don't need medicine, he don't need a house, he don't he don't need clothes on his back. Let him go and live on the streets and see how it is without anything, and then maybe he will sign this Act 48. It's already yeah. been passed in 2011. Let him push it and say, yes, we do need this universal health care for all. Yeah, uh, yeah it, in terms of, you know, phone and all, everything else, it, healthcare is extremely important. Yes. So in certain states, people are buying $1,200 cell phones and not even paying their rent. Exactly. And you don't have good healthcare. You know, they don't have a pot to pee in. What's more important, a phone? Uh, healthcare uh, is I, more I important. I understand, uh, you know, people, I mean, they took away pay, pay phones, pretty much. But I understand you need a phone, but why are you paying $1,200 when you need a Band-Aid or you need an aspirin? An aspirin in the hospital, I think, I'm not sure you're still paying for aspirin, but years ago, 10, 10 20 bucks just for one aspirin. I mean, all the, is, is, is crazy. all the medicine that you get in the hospital, it's on your mm -hmm. bill anyway. Yeah. yeah. Aspirin's along right with it, you know. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Um, in terms of the Poor People's Campaign, um, now, you guys are similar, or you guys are working together. What, what exactly, how does that play into? Um, we, we do work together. We um, do rallies together. Mm -hmm. um, we go to different towns mm -hmm. and, and do a rally. Um, we just did one in June in um, St. Johnsbury. Mm -hmm. and we had the Poor People's Campaign. We had um, the Vermont Worker Center, and I think there was a couple mm. other different groups, and that went really mm. well. We um, marched up and down, I guess, basically, I think it was Main Street there, yep. and there was a, quite mm. a few people that were out watching us and mm. and stuff, and it was um, it was an amazing turnout. Okay. Uh, and um, yes. we did mm. a picket line here in Montpelier on in front of the city mm. hall. And some of the Green Mountain board members actually saw us outside doing it as they walk into the city hall for the board meeting. But I'm not really sure if they said anything to us or not. Only two of them did. And um, when we all went into the city hall to go speak at the Green Mountain Care Board, um, I was one of them that spoke. And, you know, I told the two people that did stop <coughs> mm -hmm. and talk to us. I, you know, 
actually told them that we appreciate that, that they have heart. You know, it's like the other care boards, they just didn't seem to have heart. It's like they didn't care. Mm -hmm. What, hap what happens if they have nothing? That's right. You know? How would they and feel? And then people driving by us also honked their horns when they saw us do it. Yeah. And I got some compliments because Channel 5 News was there and some people saw it on TV. So I got some compliments from the building that I live in. Mm -hmm. well, um, now, in terms of you know, because um, in certain states you have to, because in the Poor People's Campaign I said this when I stood up there. In certain states you have to, in hospitals, right? You have to wait like 16, 17, 18 hours to be treated. Sure. Okay? You guys are fighting for good health care. In your opinion, um, especially in Vermont, the hospital. Are the hospitals, like, uh, in terms of lack of staff now because of, um... I want to... Go ahead. Um... How is important not to wait so long for treatment? For an example, CBH, okay. also known as the University of Vermont Medical Center. Mm -hmm. Um, you had to wait there, like, half an hour mm -hmm. just sitting in the waiting room, waiting okay. for triage. Mm -hmm. But people come in by ambulance and they are treated much quicker than the other patients are. So would you like to see? I would like to see the nurses, the nurses treat patients on time so we don't have to sit around and wait forever for a nurse or a doctor to come in and talk to us. Your opinion? My opinion is if you come in by an ambulance, it's um, more tragic mm -hmm. um, than if you come in with a broken arm. Or well, you um, have somebody shot or something. Exactly. So you have to put those those patients first. Exactly. Um, the ones in the waiting room, it doesn't, when I go, it, it's not as long. Mm -hmm. um, just when you get in, in the room, you have so many doctors to so many patients. And you have to understand their situation too. Because if you have someone that comes in critical at the same time that you're back in the back of the room, which one are you gonna choose? You're gonna choose that critical one yeah. before and I can understand that. I've worked on both sides of healthcare. So as what, nurse? Um no, I um almost like an L and A. Okay. Um, but I, I worked with um <coughs> MR patients. Um, a lot of people don't understand what that is, but it's mental, mental re retardation. Yes. Which we don't say anymore. Exactly. We're not supposed to say. As a matter of fact, we're, yeah, we're not supposed to because it's a category and um, everybody is a category, which they should not Some be. Some hospitals still ha here in Vermont still have, when I came to Vermont to be treated for a seizure, they still have that on a medical form mental retardation. Yes. Because if they don't know exactly what is wrong, mm -hmm they they want to make sure they they're going to diagnose you the correct way and not mess it up and and there still are um doctors and stuff that still mess things up but they're only human like we are yeah, and that's another thing for the vermont worker center and um poor put poor people first is you know human Healthcare is a human right. Everybody deserves to have it. Mm -hmm. Like housing. Housing, uh, exactly. That's another issue. It, it is. Um, I just found out um, Sunday that the shelter in Barrie put 50 people in houses. Wow. Um, so they're trying to um, eliminate, you know, homelessness mm -hmm. by 2020, and they're starting off pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, I still see a lot of homelessness on the yeah, streets. I see like, homelessness and healthcare is like it's, it's kind together. Of together. It's because like if you're, if you're on the street, let's say you are on the street, okay? You're tired. You know, they get a job from the south. Do they go get you, a job? You're and they cut or you yeah. got, you know, whatever on you. The elements in the winter time can put somebody in the hospital. That's why. 
That's yeah. why we they have overflow shelters. Yeah, they just renewed it in the Bethany Terrace. Yeah, they just renewed the war the overflow here in Montpelier. Yeah. And I think they had like thirty thousand dollars put into it. Yeah. Just so homelessness in the wintertime mm -hmm. can decrease. Yeah, yeah, because the shelter helps people with Medicare. They can help them with health insurance yeah. if they need it. They help them with complete other things. Um, and I understand that, yes, Montpelier is building a bus station with apartments above it, mm -hmm. but that's not going to, like, take everybody off the streets. Like, the abandoned buildings in Barrie, they need to turn those into apartment buildings. They do. So what, what do you think would come one. first here? They could put a problem Do down. Do you think? Yeah. Okay, we have all Instead these, of making it all a these problems, line. but there's one thing that needs to be fixed. Do you think the healthcare system in the United States, in as a whole, need to be fixed? Because if certain countries like Israel, uh, um, Ireland, and European countries have free healthcare or universal, and I do. And, and I think do. USA needs to have the same, mm -hmm. honestly. Free Medicare or Medicaid for all instead of these. Instead products. of waiting until somebody's like 65 and then yeah. be like, okay, they get free medical. They should help the disabled mm -hmm. and the low income people and be like, okay, they need free Medicare to help them with whatever. Yeah. And, and, and so do you think, <laughs> The, mil the millionaires or the people that the have. rich people need to um, help out the poor people if possible yeah. with the, the whole health care and there's been rich people that have been homeless too you know yeah and but rich people that are homeless don't stay homeless for long much. unless they go bankrupt what yeah. what um, so how, how do you think the, this health care problem should be fixed or what is your main take on it? my main take on it is that we all need to come together mm -hmm. and have one voice um and show up at the you know at the state house and say look yeah. uh, please help us don't put us on the back burner anymore um sure. and um you know like liana said about the the rich people you know, yeah, they can afford health care. Yeah, they can. But what happens if they go from having all this money to having zero? They're going to need health care, you know? Yeah. Let them help support us for a while and, and give us what we need. Because they're getting all the tax breaks. They don't have to worry about anything. No. All the tax breaks are coming down on us, which is putting us all in a bind. Mm -hmm. They should put on the middle class. They put on the rich more. Exactly. Why should we have to pay one today? They, they, they get away with murder, which yeah, is not good. But I think that we all need to just come together as one nation. Yeah. Like it says, you know, when one you. One nation under God. God, thank you. Yes. It all needs to be yeah. like the pledge. We all need to come together. We all need to stick together. And we, we all need to. What are the future, future goals of, of the of, of Mount Worker Center? Keep fighting. Yeah. Keep fighting and keep going to these boards, the Green Mountain Care Board, mm -hmm. um, and um, saying what we think, and basically giving them hell for wanting to keep raising the prices up, and have the support. And that's basically what we're looking for: is the support and the people to join our cause. Mm -hmm. You know, you can have people say no. But then they think about it after you leave. Mm -hmm. Wow, they make a lot of sense. How do I get in contact with them? So I'm just going to put this out there. There is an OC meeting on the 13th of September okay. at the Green Church in Barrie, which is... OC stands for? Organ organization Committee. Okay. Organizing Committee. And then our dinners are every fourth Saturday of the month. All right. If you would like more information on the Vermont Worker Center or any event that they're having that's coming up, please contact the Vermont Worker Center at www.vermontworkercenter.org or 
uh, or bwc.org thing. Um, Thank you.